And hello everyone, we're here today at Oceanwide Maritime Services Corp. And we'll be showing you around the different simulator rooms and as well as their classrooms. And we'll be having interviews with their staff, their trainers, and the owner. So stay tuned just to know more about Oceanwide. One, two, three! My darling, I love you, 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 I love you. I'll be asking you a few questions and yes. first thing I'd like to know is why did you establish Oceanwide? Ah, so the reason we started this company is because we wanted to help the maritime industry, especially the seafarers. So as you know, they are they are one of the frontliners. So at the time, um, we wanted to help uplift their condition as a seafarer. So those are one of the reasons we wanted to help them. Not only them, but the whole maritime industry as well. What somehow your difference between other maritime services? Yes, the advantage we have is we are diversified. We are not only focused on training, but we are also have other services like survey, audit, so that we can help the maritime industry and also the seafarers have a path for another career. Not only sa mga, let's say, sea-based, or sa pamamarko, but also uh, they will have a career when they go home. Land-based jobs. Also. Kindly invite future seafarers or mga interested yeah, people. Yeah, sure. So I invite the seafarers to avail our services here, training, training as a training center, because if you avail our services at the same time, you will have another career path. Like for example, if you want to become a surveyor, for an auditor, we also have trainings for those kinds because um, we also have services at the same time. So it is a investment for you. What's going on, Sir Tony? Deadly. <laughs> 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 After here, what to pass up? Why is it engine engine department? I can't drive.
Home Simulator CNC. So as you can see, we have three computers. Normally we have four, uh, three, uh, four station. So we have the station one, the this the one mission simulator, and we have the computer. Oh, this is whole station one. Oh, the whole station one. Ah, okay. So this area we consider it as the full mission. Then we have the computer, the only engine room simulator. We have the station two, three, and four. So, so basically, these three computers are subdivided into three mainly because this one, as you can see, it's the propulsion plant. This system is basically talking about the main engine, which is connected to the propeller, which is the one responsible why why dagger the compartment. With regards to auxiliary machinery console, na asa dery atong generator, boilers, responsible for the electricity. On the other side, can be more on electrical and it is electrical plant console. So it is connected to either the propulsion plant or the auxiliary machinery console, only related to the electrical system. And it is DG1, DG2. Shop generator, emergency generator, so Mr. everything electric, yes. The yeah. the console. So, some of the exercises, they're only using one console. Some exercises, they're using one console. But some of the exercises, they're using the three console. So, again, as I mentioned, before the exercise, they're going to be familiar with all the buttons. And during the exercises, you can see we have the instructor station also mm -hmm. here. The instructor can uh, assist the trainees if they have questions. Who goes through the usual training? Man, so with regards to this, what ranks? Uh, normally we have we have entry level for the ratings. We have the ratings forming part of engineering watch. They're using this one also for their training. Mm -hmm. We have for the uh, operational operational level engineers so they're using this one for engine room simulator and for the MLC that we have also for the management level course so they're gonna use this engine room simulator right. but of course they will still have an actual sa ship na dun mismo no? yes uh, they only have this training as a preparation that uh, once they go on board the ship they're gonna oh, yeah. be doing the same thing. So most likely the scenario is given to them is somehow the same mm. as what is happening in the world. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name again? I'm engineer John Brian Gabriel. John Brian. Yes ma'am. Thank you. Share about how Oceanwide started. Underwater survey, 
And then, nagkaroon din pa tayo ng audit and certification po. SPCW courses po, like uh, MLC, Engine, and saka DEC. Then, MEFA, SDSD, uh, NAVWATCH, Engineering Watch, and many more courses. But, mas, mas marami yung sa MLC at saka yung sa NAVWATCH. Are you allowed to share the rates of your trainings? Mm, nagbibigay naman kami, but yung binibigay namin na details Yung ano lang pong specific training course uh -huh. na tinatanong. So, who created Oceanwide? Uh, the chairman of Oceanwide is Sir Gregory Nick Sibelia. Then, our president is Mr. Anthony Sibelia II. Can you share the location of Oceanwide? We are located at ground floor of Cebu Kangha Foundation Building, Osmeña Boulevard, corner Lapalapo Street, Cebu City. And if they have or if they need additional information about Oceanwide services, where do they check? Uh, you can check our Facebook page, Oceanwide Maritime Services Corp. At the same time, pwede din po kayong mag-message sa amin doon at sa messenger namin, Oceanwide Maritime. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Do leave a like and if you have any questions about Oceanwide, leave them in the comment section below. And please show your support to Oceanwide and to my channel by sharing this video and by clicking on that subscribe button below and tapping that notification bell so that you'll be aware of new uploads. Thank you so much Oceanwide for having me and guys, don't hesitate to ask them through Facebook if you have any questions about their services. Bye! Thank you so much for watching this video. One, two, three, fuck it. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.